The global manufacturing landscape has been rapidly evolving over the past few decades, driven by factors such as technological advancements, shifting trade dynamics, and changing labor market conditions. But one of the most striking developments in recent years has been the rise of Vietnam as a manufacturing powerhouse, challenging the dominance of China, the world's largest manufacturer. In recent years, we have observed a trend where numerous companies, including tech behemoth Samsung and popular shoe brands like Nike and Adidas, have been relocating their manufacturing operations from China to other countries, such as Vietnam. Various opinions have been shared regarding the reasons behind this shift. Factors include China's increasing labor costs and a transition towards higher-value added industries, as well as Vietnam's appeal as an alternative destination, offering lower labor costs and a more favorable business environment. In this video, we will explore the primary reasons why foreign investors now prefer Vietnam over China. First, let's explore why companies are leaving China in favor of Vietnam and what makes Vietnam an attractive investment destination. After all, there are other potential choices for foreign businesses, such as India, which is not far from Vietnam, and Indonesia, another emerging powerhouse. However, these companies are investing billions of dollars in Vietnam, a relatively small country compared to both India and Indonesia. The main reasons for this preference can be attributed to factors such as low labor costs, strategic geographic location, government policies, integration into the global value chain, and an expanding expertise. That last factor has become increasingly vital, as seen in the case of Vietnam becoming an integral part of Samsung and Intel's value chain. Consequently, Vietnamese workers have developed the skills that many foreign investors are eager to utilize. We will delve deeper into specific case studies later. A notable example involves Nike and Adidas. Nike, the prominent American shoe brand, began shifting more of its production to Vietnam over China in 2012, followed by Adidas in the following years. According to Vietnam Briefing, the primary cause was the difference in production worker salaries. The website cites a report that highlights how Chinese production workers earn more than double than that of Vietnamese production workers. As mentioned earlier, low wages are not the sole factor driving this shift. A critical reason for this significant significant transition was the China-U.S. trade war. Numerous reports suggest that U.S. companies have been relocating to Vietnam to avoid sanctions. Additionally, companies operating in China have experienced steep increases in tariffs on exports to the United States due to the escalating trade conflict between the two nations. In essence, Vietnam has emerged as a clear beneficiary of the ongoing U.S.-China trade war. This trend is expected to continue as many observers believe that the U.S.-China disagreements will persist, and recent issues such as the Taiwan situation may further reinforce Vietnam as an attractive alternative destination. Another notable case study highlighting Vietnam's potential as a global manufacturing hub involves Apple. As the U.S.-China trade war intensified, Apple has distanced itself from several of its Chinese suppliers, turning to both Vietnam and India. Some of these suppliers have even decided to leave China and move to Vietnam. According to an ABC story, a Chinese company assembling Apple's AirPods shifted its production from China to Vietnam as the U.S.-China trade war escalated, following the U.S. imposition of tariffs on approximately $250 billion worth of Chinese goods. Furthermore, a local Vietnamese news outlet reported in 2020 that Apple began producing 3 to 4 million units, accounting for over 30% of its AirPods earphones in Vietnam, signaling that Apple plans to increasingly rely on Vietnam. The report also highlighted that numerous Apple suppliers, including Foxconn and Pegatron, as well as iPad manufacturer Compal Electronics, are expanding their operations in Vietnam. Inventec, an AirPods assembler, is said to be constructing a plant in the country. As a result, Vietnam is gradually becoming a base for Apple, which should come as no surprise given that Samsung has already made Vietnam its global hub for smartphone manufacturing. 
There is one more crucial reason why Apple and several other multinational giants are opting for Vietnam over other countries, which we have yet to discuss. This factor is the nation's foreign policy. Vietnam's foreign policy has been lauded by many governments for its friendly approach towards all nations. This stance has been highly praised by large corporations. Key trade agreements and ongoing bilateral meetings have been instrumental in promoting exports between Vietnam and the rest of the world. One of the biggest questions in Vietnam's rising manufacturing capabilities is whether the country has the actual potential to overtake China's manufacturing capabilities. Well, according to an article by Asia Times, there are several factors that still limit Vietnam's ability to replace China as the global manufacturing leader. These include the country's smaller workforce, underdeveloped infrastructure, and limitations in its domestic supply chain. Furthermore, although Vietnam has been successful in attracting foreign investment, it still lags behind China in terms of scale, technology, and capacity. Further, an article by CNBC points out, Vietnam's manufacturing sector has grown rapidly over the past few years and its exports have surged, but it still represents only a small fraction of China's massive manufacturing output. Additionally, the article highlights that Vietnam faces challenges in areas such as logistics and infrastructure, which could hinder its ability to fully realize its potential as a global manufacturing hub. While Vietnam may be nowhere near China's massive manufacturing presence, it is still better to understand that if Vietnam continues this trend of churning out from China, they will be an ultimate beneficiary. However, to fully capitalize on these losses, what Vietnam needs to do is to continue its current policies, or if not, do better. One of the key areas of focus should be the development of infrastructure. Upgrading roads, railways, ports, and logistics networks will be crucial in facilitating the efficient flow of products in and out of the country. The Vietnamese government must invest in these areas, collaborate with private companies, and seek international support to improve its infrastructure. It is worth noting that Vietnam has indeed been investing massively into its infrastructures. It was even reported recently that the Transport Ministry of Vietnam has announced a $65 billion 2030 master plan for the country, a key feat that will help Vietnam pave the way to become a high-income country. Another important aspect is the enhancement of workforce skills. While Vietnam's workforce has lower labor costs compared to China, the skills of Vietnamese workers need further development to compete with their Chinese counterparts. Efforts should be made to enhance workforce skills through vocational training, partnerships with foreign companies, and collaboration with universities. This is also a clear sign that we have seen recently, where several multinational companies from South Korea and Japan have been opening up recent and training centers to further develop their workforce in Vietnam. Strengthening the domestic supply chain is also essential. Vietnam's domestic supply chain is still underdeveloped, limiting its ability to compete with China. The Vietnamese government should work on strengthening the domestic supply chain, supporting local suppliers, and incentivizing their growth in reducing dependence on imports. Lastly, to compete with China's advanced manufacturing capabilities, Vietnam must encourage innovation and technology adoption. The government can support this by investing in research and development, promoting public-private partnerships, and incentivizing technology adoption by local companies. The most promising feat lately was the development of research and development centers from Samsung which was reported to be Southeast Asia's largest. The center will be a key milestone for Vietnam's rising advanced manufacturing capabilities. But while Vietnam has made significant strides in attracting foreign investment and growing its manufacturing sector, challenges remain. Addressing these challenges and leveraging its strengths will be crucial for the country to maintain its momentum and potentially emerge as a formidable competitor to China in the manufacturing space. However, completely overtaking China as the world's manufacturing hub remains a distant prospect due to the scale, technology, and capacity that China currently possesses.
In conclusion, Vietnam's rise as a major player in the global manufacturing sector has been driven by a combination of factors, including low labor costs, favorable geographic location, government policies, integration into global value chains, and competitive advantages in specific industries. This trend has significant implications for both Vietnam and China as they navigate the challenges and opportunities of a rapidly changing global manufacturing landscape. For Vietnam, the growth of its manufacturing sector has created new opportunities for economic development and integration into global value chains. However, the country will need to address various challenges, such as upgrading its infrastructure, improving its workforce's skills, and ensuring the sustainability of its growth in order to fully capitalize on these opportunities. For China, the rise of Vietnam as a manufacturing hub has led to a loss of market share in some industries and increased pressure to move up the value chain. At the same time, it has also created opportunities for collaboration and investment, as well as contributing to the rebalancing of the regional supply chain. But anyway, do let us know what you think. Thanks for watching.